train by day, Joe Rogan podcast by night, all day. And I think that that just did not exist. I mean, Gina Carano sort of caught it a little bit, but she was gone before it really caught fire, mm -hmm. you know. And then when she lost to Cyborg, there was a uh, there was a lot of like weird feelings about that because. There's all these speculations that Cyborg was on drugs, and then they looked at Gina Carano, and she was all beat up afterwards, and that left this sort of weird taste in people's eyes. I, I, I understand mouth, that, rather. and I think that... Um, taste when, in their eyes? <laughs> their eyes were here. tasty. Um, no, I, th I think that there's something to that. I think um, it's unfortunate, because I'm... Like, I know Chris Cyborg, you know, I was the matchmaker, you know, with Invicta when she was fighting for us. And I, I was there for her weight cuts and I saw some of her struggles and, and what a kind, kind person she is. Just a genuinely kind person. But then there's this persona of toughness and her saying this kind of thing to Rhonda or she's saying this mm -hmm. to Gina and then they're saying it back and it's this, that, you know, and it's just like for some reason, um, I never thought she got the... Um, the respect that was due, but at the same time, then she did fail a drug test. So it was like, ah, like, unfortunately, well, you carry the burden of having your entire legacy be questioned when you mess up like that. But we know what the human body looks like. You know, you know what a female body looks like, and you know what someone looks like when they most likely have been introducing male hormones into a female body. I don't I you know I I understand what you're saying because we know what we think is normal or what you know what a female body is like but I would say that uh we know what a male body looks like too yeah we without know hormones. Some dudes, and we yeah and yeah. I mean you look at somebody who's like perfect physique Sage Northcutt mm -hmm. I mean is is everybody speculating that he's on steroids well, because he looks a certain way cuz I I I met the kid when he was a kid and he looked like that the problem with that line of thinking is that he's a male Right. And that he has natural testosterone and that you can accentuate natural testosterone pretty significantly, especially if you're someone like a Kevin Randleman right. or, you know, like a, a Marvin Eastman who just has mm -hmm. this extreme mesomorphic build. There's mm -hmm. a lot of people that are built that way that don't do anything illegal. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of women that are. Yeah. I, you know, I, I again, I, when we do the eye test like that, like I, I completely understand that. My, um, I guess I wanted to believe Course. That I wanted to believe that Cyborg was drug free, and now I believe that she is. I believe that she's not. currently. Yeah, I believe that she's whatever happened in that time mm -hmm. in 2011. She has rectified it. She's passed all of her. I guess something happened. I, I'm not really because it was with the UFC with some kind of test, but it turned out it was with her birth control pills or something. What kind more of recently? It. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, something happened with her birth control or no. something. Something happened there, but. No, it's spironolactone. It's spironolactone. And which is a DHT inhibitor, a dihydrotestosterone inhibitor mm -hmm. that is used for a bunch of different reasons. It's used as a um, it's used as a diuretic. It's used for people combating the effects of uh, anabolic steroids for mm -hmm. females combating the effect. It's used for cysts. It's oh, used that's for right. a, a yeah. bunch of bunch of different possible reasons to use it. Oh, I think yeah, because I, I think I've known somebody who's been on that for cystic acne before. Mm -hmm. So I understand I don't understand what happened in all of that. And I would love to I need to read about it. I, I'd love to know more about it. It wasn't my in my sphere of interest exactly right. then. But you know, pre two thousand eleven drug test, I wanted to believe she was natural because I wanted to believe in her and believe that somebody could be that vicious and ferocious and wonderful like that and take a take the idea of women fighting to a different level mm -hmm. and when she tested positive for for the um it was a di Star Wars. St stands yes yeah, stands something I, in 2011 so whatever like yeah and then you know and then i was just i was heartbroken because first of all you know it was just like there was this I, I didn't believe anymore, and then I got I got to meet her actually in professional setting, and I got to, to know her as a person. And you realize that when you know people, it's a lot more nuanced. And I believe in you as a person, and not you know you know what I mean. Well, like, I've believed in a lot yeah. of guys that turned out to be taking steroids. Yeah, and it's, it's yeah, it's weird to associate. I guess I never. Well, you're a nice person. You're kind. Well, you you wish for the best. I I do, but I also wish for the best for women all the time, and mm -hmm. that we're not gonna mess up. Right, and but if you do wish for the best up. for yeah. women, wouldn't you definitely want to take a hard stance against someone who's Absolutely. introducing male hormones into a female body? And the, you know, the, also the problem with that is a lot of the effects are permanent. Mm -hmm. Like the, a lot of the effects of a woman altering her physiology with male hormones, there's a certain amount of those effects. And this is also argued against men taking steroids. There's a certain amount, and there's been tests about this. This isn't just speculation. That certain amount of physiological changes are permanent mm -hmm. when you take steroids because you're introducing these hyper human levels of testosterone to a male system 
and things change. Bone density changes. Right. The shape of your body changes. The, the, the tendon strength changes. Right. And your your testicles shrink. And certainly because you, you don't have the ability to mm-hmm. like pr- yeah. produce but th- this See, that, of- pro- that comes back. Like the, the, the testicular atrophy. It's mm-hmm. like... It's really the shutdown of the endocrine system, but that mm-hmm. comes back, and when it comes back, there's a certain amount of the improvements that you've received because of those steroids that you will keep forever. Oh, really? So yes. even when you're in that exactly. like post-steroid area? Okay. Yes, and which is one of the things that infuriates people that have been clean their whole life is that someone can test positive, and then they continue on their career, even if they are not taking steroids mm-hmm. now, they have a, a benefit. They have a permanent mm-hmm. benefit of taking those illegal drugs. Mm-hmm. That sucks. Yes. Yeah. I mean, exactly. it's. I mean, there's nothing like I can say like that would champion that being a right. good thing. It's not a good thing. But I, I will say that, like, she did not test positive the entire, you know, since 2011. Mm-hmm. And so, if there was that advantage in something like that, we saw somebody like Urena Bear um, in kickboxing still work against that and still find victory. Right. So I. I I don't know. But should someone have to work against that? First of all, the Jarena Barge fight was a testament to Cyborg's courage and, yes. and fighting spirit that she took that fight because nobody wanted to fight Jorina for a long mm-hmm. time. And if you don't know who Jorina Barge is, if you watch her Muay Thai fight, she's some ungodly number of fights she's had. She's a multiple time world champion and she's just so stunningly technical as a mm-hmm. fighter. But, you know, you look at them physically, they, they look very, very different. Mm-hmm. You know, B- B- Cyborg is just this attacker, berserker style, and fought a very good fight she against did. It was a girl incredible. that nobody wanted to fight. It was a wonderful fight. Yeah, it was uh, a fantastic fight. You know, that's fight. like one of those fights, even in, in a loss, like... Her stock you came can't, up. Yeah, you yeah. can't... Yeah, Cyborg thinks I hate her. Look, I, I think she's awesome. I, I'm a fan, and I tweeted this many times along that the UFC needs to make a 145-pound women's mm-hmm. division, but... There's also some realities that you have to address, and those realities have to be addressed for the other women that haven't done anything mm-hmm. as well, to to look up for them. I, I think you're right about that. I think that when people test positive, I think that the, the penalties have to be harsh. They have to be hard. And I don't know what's going on with the new testing and stuff like that. I'm not, I, I don't, I'm not in the know when it comes to the UFC. I'm no longer on a team. You know what I mean? It's like everything I do, I read through MMA mm-hmm. media now. So um, I don't know who's testing what and what's going on. But I will say that, the men had been doing it for so long as well. So mm-hmm. should men who were clean have to have fought against men who were dirty? Very good question. A lot of people think they shouldn't. Yeah. So you know? it's I, I don't know what we do about clean slating it at this point. And it's also, is it the same thing? Is a man taking male hormones the same as a woman taking male hormones? Well, if the man already has the male hormones, right? right? right. Wouldn't that be even more of an increase than a woman taking? Because if a woman, I mean. No. Okay. No, because a woman's adjusting her physiology and becoming masculine, whereas a man is becoming more masculine. It's there's a ju- there's a shift literally in the body structure that happens to women when they start taking testosterone. Yes. That's why a transgender man goes from a woman to a man all of a sudden grows b- a beard right, right. like Chaz Bono, changes the shape of your face, changes the tone of your voice, your mm-hmm. voice gets deeper. I mean, so many different factors play in it. I mean, it really depends on, there's no, there's also, there's a rainbow, like a, a broad spectrum of dosages, like who mm-hmm. knows how much you're taking, how long you're taking it for. And then there's also massive negative consequences health-wise yeah, for that's, women. Yeah, that's what's, it, I mean, it's already hell on your body to fight. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's hell on your body to be a female athlete. In many ways, it's wonderful and encouraging, but you're, you're right. And I, I, again, I don't have an answer for that. I don't think there's a clean slate. I do think that Chris Cyborg is in the position right now with her career and with the things that have been questioned about her, the things that have been done. She has actually the opportunity now to really spearhead making it all clean and coming, you know, coming forward with whatever happened in the past with this spears, I forgot the name of it. Sprona Lactone. Yeah, well, all of that. That's but less that of was, a concern because yeah. that's not really a performance enhancing drug. The the Sprona Lactone is not gonna. It's not performance enhancing. Okay. It's not like the so other then stuff it, was. it wasn't a failed test then. Well, or it's, it was, it's, oh, it's it was... not prohibited, or mm-hmm. it is prohibited, but she could get a uh, therapeutic therapeutic use exemption. Did she? I think they she did. Didn't believe she? they're doing okay. that, or in the process okay. of trying to do that. Maybe it has been cleared. I, but what that means is. Look, it's not hurting anybody she competes against. It's not that. Mm -hmm. It's just they don't like people taking it because it can mask some of the effects of um, androgens in in the female body. And it also, um, as a diuretic, diuretics are illegal because diuretics also can mask some of the um, potential uh, properties of testosterone or hormones or That's why they did away with all the the IV rehydration. Yes, yes, I was the only person who liked IV rehydration. You're the only one? No, I think there's a lot of people that liked it. I loved it. it. And I I mean, I was clean 
I, I hate to say that I was clean my whole life, but I, I was po- possibly because nobody ever offered me anything. If somebody offered you steroids, you think you would have taken it? I don't know. I look back now and I'm like, I wonder. Because I wonder how many other women were. Yeah, what if it was back in the day like the Wild West, like Pride Days? Like Pride Days were the Wild West. Like during Pride, like I talked to Ensign Inoue. He, mm-hmm. he, de- he described about his, con- his contract literally in capital letters said, we will not test you for steroids. Mm-hmm. And Ensign was laughing about it. It was like fucking everybody was on shit back then. You know, I, I, to that question, I think I probably would have. If I'd have been offered it, I don't know. But then mm. you think about that, and then you think about, okay, 2011 was just on the cusp of being the Wild West, right? Mm-hmm. So if yeah. she did take steroids, if she was on something, mm-hmm. isn't that just what everybody else was trying to do? I don't Some know. Some people were. I don't think yeah. Gina was doing it. Oh, I don't no, think I don't Gina think Gina, Gina, I don't think Gina did it at all. No. But some but women definitely did, I for think sure. they did. I mean, you look at the old pictures, the, the fighters, the generation mm-hmm. before me, and I'm not throwing at accusations i'm just saying people with musculature like like becky levi and people like that you mm-hmm. kind of wonder like okay how how much of that was you know sure well i know girls that just compete in jujitsu tournaments that do testo- testosterone mm-hmm. i mean they just want to be stronger and better and they, there's no money in it they're just trying just to get an it. edge and it's kind of weird you know it's it's weird it's you know they're it's amateur and no one's testing, and they mm-hmm. say everyone's doing it, so they're doing it. So you go, okay, like I got no position on this. I mean, I don't mm-hmm. know, I don't know what to say. But when it comes to MMA and when it comes to professional sports, mm-hmm. and back then, if it was the Wild West, I'm sure a lot of people were doing mm-hmm. it, you know. But Chris Cyborg became sort of the poster girl when she looked the part and then tested positive. Right, right. What I mean, what do we do with that now? That's a good question. What, what do we do, do we with do that with now? That? Like what because do you do I, with it? I. I think she's a phenomenal woman. I think she's a a kind and good woman and a wonderful fighter for people to look up to. So I don't, I don't know what you do with that now. I think that what has to go on the table is just we take everything by what happens today. And if a person Mm -hmm. doesn't test positive, we take them at their word. Yeah, the real problem though with what's going on today is they're offering these massively steep, steep sentences for people and suspensions for people. So like first... If you get caught, I think the first suspension is like two years. Mm-hmm. And then if you get caught again, it's even deeper. And then three years, it's three times. If you get caught a third time, it's like you, life. You're done. Yeah. yeah. Like Vanderlei Silva one is the most disturbing one to me mm-hmm. because he ran away from a test and yeah. they banned him for life. Like that is fucking, that's yeah, you abusive. Gotta, yeah, you got to wonder how many other fighters have run away from it, but it just wasn't as public. Like, you know? Sure. Well, not only that, but when you talk to Chael Sonnen about mm-hmm. how sketchy the USADA people were when they came to him, like they made him do it in a broom closet mm-hmm. and give Blaze like this. Is this sterile? Like, who are you? Do you have an ID? Mm-hmm. Like they don't even, they don't want to give you ID. They just want to test right away and you just have to listen to them i kind of understand in in the case of him where they may be trying to hawkeye him a little bit more just because of his past sure yeah yeah but it is um i don't know i i don't know when it comes to regulation who regulates the regulators like that is the question right like that's the question yeah but at the same time we don't want this taken away from us right like this whole thing, the, the, the moments of passion, the Darren Elkins mm-hmm. moments. We don't want that taken away from us. And to have that soured by knowing that that person was cheating, was cheating. Yeah. That, you know, it's I think there's a huge emotional investment to see a clean sport. Well, how about the grayest of gray areas, which is Vitor Belfort? Yeah, they let him. Yeah, they let him. I mean, he was a testosterone use exemption. And when he was doing it, holy shit, was yeah, he, he looked, fucking terrifying. He looked, yeah, he looked he, like 19-year-old Vito. He looked, like an, yeah. he looked crazier than 19-year-old yeah. V. He looked like a demon. Mm-hmm. I mean, Vito would come out and just starch everybody. He was smashing people. Wheel kick Luke Rockhold. Well, we'd never seen him throw a wheel yeah, kick in his life. He threw two wheel kicks in his entire career. Oh, Look at the, yeah. the pictures of him. This is 2007 on the left, and 2000, or 2012 on the left, and 2017 on the right. 